What up, YouTube? Wanted to make a video uh, because I seen a video that uh, that I'm gonna put in the link below. Uh, there's this uh, this guy in the black community named Tommy Sotomayor, and his goal and purpose is to. Uh, to to empower black people right uh, he's uh i admire what he's doing he's he's trying to he's a, a a subculture he's he's trying to create a community where they better themselves and uh, one of the the high points of his his uh his whole thing uh that he does is he blames black women for um, a lot of the problems that the black community has and their behaviorisms and not necessarily them as a whole he, but he does it out of love because he wants to see his community grow and uh, like I said I admire what he does you know. um, but he had a video posted that he made where um, there's these newscasters. It's a it's a morning news broadcast, and they're talking about uh, it was they had a guest on in the morning edition, and it was it was talk about uh, macking, how to be a mac, and they had this guy I don't know his name, but he wrote several books on macking. Super confident guy, uh, you know, somebody who who's a I, I would characterize as someone who knows how to sway the minds of many women through confidence and and uh, all that jazz so uh, they're all they're all talking and uh, they're all goofing around and having a good time and uh, when they get to the the black woman uh, First of all, they're all chiming in, and they're, they're they're all goofing around the idea of being a Mac, and they're going through Mac lessons, and it's kind of like a, a big pimp joke slash serious talk. And uh, when they get to the black woman, she just she says uh, she kind of kills the noise. She she's like she's like you know what you don't have to worry about all this mess. Just get your education right. Get your get your mind right, and uh, you know. And I would assume she never said it, but I would assume she was saying. And then you worry about a man, you know, and then you worry about somebody with integrity, somebody somebody better for you. That's what I would obviously because she's dis disgracing what they're doing. So obviously her path would be better, right? In her opinion. So. This went on, and so they killed the noise. They called her a hater, whatever, you know. And so, um, after that happened, uh, the com told it, Tommy Sotomayor commented on the, the whole clip, and he said, you know, I thought he was going to praise the black woman for actually, you know, spitting some game, right? But instead, he shit on the black women. He said, Everybody's having a good time, you know, whatever, and then a black woman comes and stomps out the good time, you know what I mean, like, just bragging on, on her, like, and, uh, that's not really important, that, that kind of, like, confused me as to why he wouldn't do that, why he'd shit on her when the message overall was positive. Even if she went about it being a little rude about it, but I don't know, you know, you'll have to watch the clip. But anyway, this this uh, this connected because I had um, recently, like two weeks ago, I had an intense um, psychedelic trip where I took some MXE, uh, a huge amount. And uh, it took me to a place 
that I was stuck. I was stuck. Uh, it, it was one of those trips where you are battling with with uh, with absurdity and and you're battling with things that don't make sense. And what you're battling is to keep try to hang on through this uh, crisis because your your body doesn't feel the same your visuals don't feel the same the your audio everything is is uh, all over the place and and um, I was battling for five six hours or whatever but um, <clears throat> what uh, what came coming what 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 came to me for some reason through the trip was families are the key to a strong community that families were the key to to a strong country and a strong background you know what I mean that that family was important the most that just came it kept hitting me with that right and so uh, after seeing this video and uh, and how this connects with families it's like this whole player this whole player society this whole uh, Mac Daddy Lil Wayne whatever whatever it is it, it's it's at a peak we went from a society where no one even knew how babies came from and we jumped all the way to it's being on Family Guy you know in Family Guy's early seasons before it was popular you know you know where sex is everybody knows it like even kids now you know and they know it because it's going on more than ever more than ever before right and I'm sure the internet porn and all that also you know helps to spread all that shit but my point is that this culture of playerisms and all this you know and that it's destroying families what you have now is a bunch of adults the baby boomer kids that grew up that they don't want to get wise they don't want to flip the script and be smart they want to be young I mean if you watch this clip they're like uh, they're trying to be in high school it's like dude you you are 10 years above that shit 20 years above that shit and they're goofing around like this is I mean what I get it from watching this stuff is that they don't want to be old that they don't want to reach maturity because the whole the whole uh, idea of being old in this culture now is you're useless as an old person. You're a fucking, you know what I mean? You have nothing to offer. So, uh, that, that wasn't the case all the time, but it is now. And if you watch one of my earlier videos on, I forget what it's called, but there's something involving old people. It's in the title. Uh, that they shit on old people. So what you have is immature adults trying to act like teens. And what I get from all this is that families are being broken. Like it's evident through through uh, through the amount of divorces that are going on through the amount of relationships that don't last that if you think about it are over over dumb shit 
and start over, you know, random shit. It's like, when, when this guy on the show teaches people to be a Mac, he's teaching all men to behave in a way that is super confident that it that you can get any woman in the world that you want right regardless of their feelings regardless of what they're about you know regardless of uniqueness of personality regardless of all that your goal under his guidelines is to behave like a key that unlocks all locks right but this key like I said is demoralizing to the to the women right and that fucks with family communities and it fucks with building communities and don't get me wrong that that I'm one of those old school guys where I think you should only fuck one woman. Like, that's not my shit. I believe in in having shit more than one wife. I believe you should be able to fuck around, like, legit. But, I also think that a child needs the mother and the father all the time. Like, growing up like being involved like <clears throat> and what's what's happening is that these players that these these max whatever you want to call them they're not unique they they're just trying to appear as valuable as possible to get what they want right like when a girl wants, when, what you're trying to do when you're trying to get laid is you're trying to prove you're valuable. Alright? When, when you use a pickup line, the whole purpose is to say, I'm creative. I invented this to make you smile. That means my brain is valuable. That means fucking me would be a good idea. That's what you're saying right but those kind of people do not they they don't know how to handle long term relationships they don't know how to keep a woman happy cuz they're always trying to make themselves happy they think it's a one way street they pump and dump pump and dump and when you do that what you create is you break a woman's heart you make her you make her try a little harder the next time not to get pumped and dumped and she just she's gonna be bouncing around broken all the time right instead of like I'll give you my personal shit right I worked hard on myself to be unique to be different in order to keep my woman around in order to find it pleasant for me to be around her like I worked hard for that that's how I distribute my value. And so I can be I, I like my point is that my uniqueness on what I worked individually, creatively, you know, using my creativity to create an environment for my woman. Okay, or any other woman that if this didn't work out would let me in, right? 
<clears throat> but what you have now is a bunch of guys who all act the same, who all act like retarded drinking buffoons. It's just how they can swag their way into into shit and appear confident, appear valuable. But that stuff isn't helping families. And that's not being creative. And that's not being a solid and like a solid male figure, like a, a fucking remote role model. Like at the end of the day, you could be a pimp and a player, or you, you could fuck as many bitches as you want. But is that like is that is that what you want for your community? A bunch of a bunch you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not hating it. I'm just saying that shit doesn't help families. Raising families is important because there's too many single mamas that that grow up having to raise these kids and that fucks up children and that these children grow up fucked up and they grow up and they have more fucked up children and you can think what you want about Illuminati's and all these conspiracies and all this shit it's in the music it's all in that shit okay and it's in the popular culture of the Mac bullshit right it's all in that shit and if you believe all that then you know that this is a, all their plan to create a bunch of broken ass families a bunch of fucking buffoons okay because we can be intelligent and still have sexual uh, permis promiscuity if that's the word we can still fuck around and be a solid community we can do it intelligently instead of acting stupidly okay we can take care of our community but we do it we, the way we do it ain't right man and that's just how it sits with me so yeah Take it for what it's worth. If you've watched the whole thing, you know, thanks. I'm out.